Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baker Bakertron and do I need anything more than that? I, th I think we all know what's going on by now. This is going to be another Homeworld 1v1, again provided by Lamedis, Lamadeus, yes I think that's right, Lamadeus, who sent me some more cool games, so yes, this should be fun, hopefully, anyway. So to get back into it, 1v1 on the map Talus Crossroads, between two players, obviously. Here we have Doe, who I believe we've seen a couple of times before, he may be in, in fact be in all the games of this replay pack. And his opponent today, I've completely forgotten, Rusty Chains, who we haven't seen before but I think he's in one more game in this pack so we may hopefully see him at some point in the future. Uh, both players are Higarin so we won't be seeing any defence field frigates or defence field fighters coming out. Not that we see defence field fighters being used anyway which is a bit of a shame. So it's going to be a fairly standard mirror matchup. Now Doe has decided to send his research ships all the way over here. He has built an extra one his opponent is keeping his research ships together with his mothership. His opponent has also got a resource controller out, along with two harvesters here and a third one here. Meanwhile, Doe doesn't have a resource controller out, and he's still sticking with the three resource collectors. So that's just going to give uh, Rusty Chains slightly more efficient mining at the start. Rusty Chains has also scouted out this area. But Doe has sort of made a play and claimed the centre of resource patch, as it were. And he's got his scouts into the correct f small f manoeuvrable formations. Whilst Rusty Change is, is sort of hunting down this probe. Even though this probe isn't really in a fantastic position, you can't quite see a huge amount. But there we go. So this is just the first few minutes of the game where we just wait for everybody to gear up, get out some ships, make a couple of tech choices, you know, decide whether they go for corvettes or, or fighters or they could go for frigates straight away. It really depends on, on how they prefer to play. And eventually, hopefully, everybody will be fighting off in the middle of the map. That's, well, that's usually what happens. It usually kicks off within the first five minutes, five, ten minutes or so. So that's what we expect to happen, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now this probe is in a lot better position, it's going to scare it out pretty much everything it needs to. But there's also, what I like is this support frigate, ready to keep these alive in case of attack. In this sort of early game, players only have scouts out, they barely do any damage as we can see, even this probe is actually able to survive. This is the second pass that these 15, 20 scouts have made against this probe, so they really don't do a huge amount of damage. So a single support frigate will be able to keep these alive for quite some time if Doe decides to sweep in. Of course it's going to struggle a bit more against these light corvettes and they themselves have their own support frigate and that's going to make this group, nine light corvettes, pretty tough to deal with at this early early stage. Eventually Rusty Chains can get out heavy corvettes to help deal with them. He's gone for interceptors which uh, can work but doesn't always. Uh, meanwhile Rust Doe hasn't got any additional technology out. I don't think he he may have a resource controller out by now. Yep. And we can just see Rusty Chain sort of sweeping along. This is a fairly decent position as he can hit here and here. Uh, the problem is, is his resourcing operation is going to be over here fairly soon. And Doe has sort of figured that out and sent this fairly scary force corvettes. Uh, additional problem is Rusty Chains isn't in formation. And so I'm going to, there's 30 scouts at the moment and I'm going to expect Doe to come out on top of this. I'm going to just one scout down, but that's not those. 
So I'm just counting the explosions. Two down. And there are interceptors in there that's going to help Rusty Chains. But Doe still hasn't lost a single craft. Three scouts down for Rusty Chains. Four scouts. And only now is, is Doe starting to lose craft. And he's only lost a single scout. Two scouts down now. So we can just see how much more efficient his correctly positioned units were. And his he's just had better control over them during the fight so this is definitely this one fight here is going to swing into Doe's favour pretty rapidly there's additional ships coming out as well light corvettes able to throw in a bit of firepower against this force the mothership is able to sort of add in a few extra guns and we can just see dusty chains rusty chains even starting to withdraw. Over here though, now these corvettes, 11 corvettes, I don't think they're going to be able to focus this down against two support frigates, so it's going to be a bit of a stalemate situation. Like there's, I don't think there's anything shooting back here against the corvette. I mean, technically the support frigates do have a single gun, I believe, there. So they may take a tiny bit of damage, but they have their own support corvettes, so no one's going to die here within the next few minutes unless someone does some kamikaze attacks. However, now that Rusty Chains has sort of fled from the centre fight, this huge group of 20 scouts remaining can swing in, and that might be enough to, to start killing things off. They're just going to focus down this lone light corvette, and they could kamikaze into things that will it does a lot of damage right off the bat. Meanwhile in the center we can just see Rusty Chains taking control of the resources there, killing off enemy harvesters, that sort of thing. And so now he's he's got free reign of dispatch. Doe has free reign here. And this area is, is contested. And now we can see with the scouts coming in the resource controller is starting to take some damage and it actually hyperspaces out and that's going to swing the, the harvesting into Doe's favour certainly I think it died in fact it might have died before it was able to escape we'll have to keep an eye on it see if it pops up anywhere but Rusty Chains has now sort of moved on to Frigate he's got the sort of Frigate out and so he's sort of giving up the strikecraft fight. He does have a few strikecraft here, but again, and he's actually taken out quite a lot of scouts. Actually, he's taken out an extra five scouts. But there's still these ten corvettes with the support frigate, and they can now start hunting down these harvesters here. Meanwhile, the scouts are just taking out the remains of well, these strikecraft interceptors. Sort of a fair few, seven, eight of them in the back. So, actually this now isn't looking very good for the scout force, it's almost like Rusty Chains has, has drawn them back into an ambush, but there's more scouts coming in from the top here. So this is going to be a fairly even fight, let's see if we can get a decent, exciting view. No, for some reason I really can't, I'm pressing the wrong button this way. There we go. Okay, this isn't a fantastic view, but it should be. Uh, there we go. Come on, pilot. Give us something good to look at. No. Oh. Okay, well, I, I can... There we go. So we can just see that Rusty Chain still has actually a fairly large number of strike craft out. Um, unfortunately, I believe... Doe has, has this slightly better control, which is why he was losing less at the start, and he still has a fair few large Corvette force. We can also see, coming in now, two salvage Corvettes. There's a salvage Corvette already actually just trying to steal this assault frigate, and this is just rubbing salt into the wounds. Harvester. I don't know what is. Okay, that's something I haven't seen in a very long time. The harvest is actually managing to kamikaze. And because it has quite a lot of health, it can then just be healed up by the, by the support frigates. In fact, we can see another one coming in now. Let's see if we can get a really good view. 
And there we go. It actually just killed one. What was that team really cool? We just managed to pick off. Oh yeah, he's, he, well you all saw it. Um, he can now be healed up. So let's switch to this view and see what we have here. There's a couple of figures still out for dough, but mostly chain, rusty chain. There's four sort of figures out now, and as many support figures, if not more. I think he's got five actually. So really, he's he's going to do well if he can get a gravel generator out or just enough figures to sort of overwhelm this fairly large force. Uh, one thing that's going into his favour is that this tiny group of fighters has managed to pull back 12 scouts and this whole corvette wall. 21 light corvettes, so he's currently got a lot of firepower that can overwhelm everything in the centre of the map, which is what he really needs to do. Uh, he's not harvesting here anymore, and his opponent has been free to harvest here. But so he's got to use this time now to secure the center heart resource patch. Doe does have heavy corvettes and that's going to start to do a fair bit of damage against Rusty Chains light, not Rusty, not light corvettes, Rusty Chains figures as it, anyway. Although heavy corvettes can be hit by the assault figures. And these corvettes are now going to swing around and get back into the center of the fight where they can do a lot of damage as well. There's just a handful of scouts chasing down the remaining scouts and interceptors of Rusty Chains. There's about five of them there, and a handful there. So everybody seems to be ready to concentrate on this centre fight. A couple of assault figures out now for Doe. It's going to start really helping out his corvettes. This is actually a fairly scary strike craft force. Two assault figures, five heavy corvettes, 22 light corvettes. Four, though, one versus two assault figures there. Three assault figures, four assault figures, one iron cannon figure, and four support figures. But the support figures aren't really healing anything or doing anything that useful. There we go. Okay, so they're, they're healing this figure, but that's not the figure that's taking most of the fire, this one down here is taking a fair bit, as are the support figures themselves. So we can do with a bit better control on here and each other. Meanwhile this fight over here is still going on. There's so few ships and they're doing so little damage to each other I expect that to go on for a while. Now we can see the sort of knock on effect of losing that resource controller is that these are going to have to harvest all the way over here. Uh, Rusty Chains can do with either getting another resource controller or even just moving his mothership out. Because his frigates are incredibly good, even against corvettes, but he's not going to be able to keep up in production at all. And yes, he's got an eye kind of figured out. Yes, it's doing a fairly large amount of damage. But he can't replace his losses, whereas Doe can. Though he's still harvesting, he's harvesting the sense of the map, so these resource controllers are taking mere seconds to get resources. No, sorry, not controllers, collectors, and he doesn't even need this resource controller anymore. Meanwhile, this Corvette group is just going to be ripping apart absolutely everything. You can see they're just taking out another support figure. There's still three support figures left, and technically, there's still nine kind of figures left. But it looks like that. Uh, Rusty Chains is, is aiming to take down all sp enemy support figures before moving on to these cor this Corvette War, which isn't necessarily a good idea. Uh, Doe can replace those support figures, they're fairly cheap and he's still harvesting, and it's really these Corvettes that are doing the damage to Rusty Chains for the force. Uh, then, yeah, this fight here seems to have been won by Rusty Chains. So he could bring these back. Uh, three scouts, two interceptors there. Scout, interceptor, scouts. Or he could attack here, that research ship. Uh, I'm not sure how useful it would be this late in the game, but it's got to be better than just leaving them there. 
at the moment. But he's, yeah, he does still have an impressive number of frigates out. So it could it could go either way. Although he's only down to one lone support frigate. So that doesn't look good. Uh, the reason oh, I did it might be that Rusty Chains won here because uh, Doe brought his, his own scouts back. And we can even see the mothership sort of in exchanging. I would like to say broadsides, but I don't think it's doing that much damage to qualify as a broadside. But yeah, it's be doing a little bit. So we can see just this frigate group desperately fighting on. Slowly getting picked off by all these corvettes. Now, if the chains could do a grav bar generator, he could get his own research ship and try to do some really cool ramming techniques. We've, we've seen him do some ramming with his heroic resource control collectors earlier, so maybe he can pull off something against these corvettes. But if he doesn't come up with something soon, it's going to start. Well, he's already started swinging against him, as we can see yet another figure being picked up. He's down to just four assault figures. There's no support figures backing them up. They're just going to start dying pretty rapidly. Uh, just to note that Doe has retired his resource controller just to get that extra resource boost. So this looks like it could well be the very last stand of Rusty Chains fleet. Yes, he's now, well he's outnumbered by the frigates and there's another assault frigate going out. So, congratulations to Doe and commiserations to Rusty Chains. Or Chain, yes it's Chains. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, please subscribe, Please comment, or please just tell your friends if you know anybody who likes Homeworld and nostalgia. Point them in the direction of this, of this, uh, of my channel, and that, that would be absolutely fantastic. I am figure coming out desperately trying to do what it can, and it might even get one of these support frigates. But really, and this is quite a nice tactic. Is Rusty Chains is going for these harvesters. But I think it's too little, too late. In fact, I don't think an Iron Cannon Frigate does enough damage to outweigh these support frigates. Although there's an assault frigate might swing it back. I don't. It's a bad even. And there we go. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.